we're taking you on an easy hike with a North Shore update. Today on Hawaii Time. Welcome back to On Hawaii Time, where we bring you weekly travel tips, island facts, and history while we adventure around the Hawaiian Islands, specifically our home island of Kauai. Where we vacation 365 days a year. Today is hike day. Hike day. We bring you to the Anainaho Community Park, which is up on the north shore of Kauai, for a nice, easy hike. Some of our subscribers had requested or asked recently, what are some of the easy hikes to take on Kauai? And this is one of them. This hike is called the Waikoa Loop Trail. It is only four and a half miles long and it should take us about an hour and a half to do. To find the Ninoho Community Park, head north. Just past mile marker 23.5, take a left turn and you're there. Now we have our snacks, we have our water, Autumn has a map, and all we need you to do is to relax and unwind. You're, you're on, on Hawaii, Hawaii time. time. We're gonna head in right now and sign our waiver. So one of the things they ask is that this is on private property. So keep your dogs on leashes, don't pick any fruit, and don't wander off of the trail. The trail waiver is right here on this iPad. We just started the trail and I wanted to point out that so far it's super shady and so it's really nice and cool. It is a really warm day but it's nice and cool here underneath the shade of all these mahogany trees. Right, at least within this, this first part of it. And uh, one thing you want to keep in mind when doing this trail is there is no water stations right. and there's no bathrooms. So you definitely can get all of that taken care of before you actually start. Yep. So one of the things with Autumn is like mosquitoes absolutely adore her, which I completely understand. We are in the Kilauea woods right here and these cook pines were planted in the 1950s to be used as Christmas trees, but not all of them were harvested. So that's why you have these big giant trees surrounding us right here. You can bring your dogs on this trail. You just have to make sure you keep them on a leash at all times. And if you're going to take a dog on a field trip from the Kauai Humane Society, this would be a great place to bring that dog. All right, so just a little bit confusing uh, because it does say that the dam is closed. However, we did go and get permission to come here because we signed out the waiver. So we know the trail is open. I guess we'll have to see when we get up there. attire for this hike usually when autumn and i go and we do hikes i mean we have our hiking shoes um so we're like ready for some rigorous hiking but uh so far we're just using our regular tennis shoes with this and this trail is perfect for that don't you think yeah i think you could probably get away with even wearing slippers So dogs must be on leash at all time, but um, not your goat. Not your goat. Uh, the quick Off story. Leash goats. Yeah, <laughs> quick story about those goats is they're both rescue goats. Um, so yeah, and they are their pets. It's amazing. They're so cute. They're Gertrude pretty. and Poi were the names of the goats. <laughs> That's right. Eighty-six thousand Honduras mahogany trees cover approximately two hundred acres of the Vicoa plantation. It's amazing.
also along the trail you have the African Albizia tree which is behind me up there. Now the African Albizia was introduced to the Hawaiian Islands in 1919 as a reforestation project to kind of replenish when the sandalwood was taken away from the island. Now the African Albizia is also known as the widow maker. So when you're out hiking around in the deep forest, if there's a lot of African Albizias, you want to pay attention, listening for any cracking noises, immediately start to look up and find shelter just to be safe. Now, I'm not saying to walk around and be panicked all the time, but you don't want to be underneath an African Albizia, obviously, when it falls. I think you know why. Now, you can find this information in the ancient Hawaiian text known as the Hanaho Magazine, found on Hawaiian Airlines. The first part of the trail was pretty shaded, but this part is totally exposed. Behind us is the Hanalei River Valley, and if you look to the very back of the valley, you'll see Mount Waialeale. Ale. It's covered in clouds, obviously. And then as you come down the valley, you have beautiful views of Namalokama, Hi'emanu, and just beyond it, Mamalohoa. Today is a beautiful day. I think though if you were to come here just after a rain, in the background, all the mountains, you can see it from here with the eye. I don't know if you can see the camera. You can definitely see where all the waterfalls come off this mountain range. Unfortunately, the stone dam is still closed for repairs, so we're not able to make it past this gate. So now this means we just head back. I would say if you're traveling with small children or somebody who is not looking for like a really heavy adventure uh, like climbing or hiking up anything making your way to the water a waterfall this is definitely the trail you want to do especially if you do have the small kids now the Ananaho community park has a lot to offer such as a playground um, they have a skate park and don't forget their mini golf course right so we did a, uh, a video on that which we'll go ahead and put a link above for you I'm really disappointed because we didn't get to see the stone dam. I really thought of that as being the star of the show. So instead, the goats were the stars of the show. <laughs> Actually, just being out here together was amazing. Yes. And this is extremely beautiful. Uh, this hike or stroll, uh, I think is amazing. And I would totally recommend it. If the stone dam is something that you wanted to see, then call ahead of time and make sure that that's open. Uh, you can understand the heavy rains that we had last April was pretty bad. So I can imagine that the damage up there was, was extensive, yeah. Right. One of the great things about hiking the Waikoua Trail is that after you can get drinks and some food here at the Aninaho Community Park. up our hike.
hike at the Waikoua Loop Trail and I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed that the stone dam was closed. So the next time we do that trail, we're definitely waiting until it is open again. Yeah, that was, it was beautiful. The landscape was great. Uh, there was a lot of areas where it was shaded and it was open. Uh, but man, we really wanted to get to, to that stone dam. But. It's a very, very easy trail. So if you're looking for something flat and easy, that is the trail for you. I do want to say happy Father's Day to my dad because today is Father's Day. We love you and we can't wait till you come back and see us here on Kauai. Yes, happy Father's Day and, and, uh, and to my father who, who passed uh, a little, not too long ago. So happy Father's Day to him and, and uh, yeah. yeah. We also want to point out that we have new merch. So here's the new design that I just put up on our Spreadshirt shop. Uh, you can go ahead and click on the link to our merchandise store right there in our header on our YouTube channel. So check that out and grab your shirt before you come to the island. And please let us know when you're coming. Take a picture of yourself in your shirt. We'd love to get those pictures with on Hawaii Time tagged. Last but not least, we do have an update on the North Shore and Autumn will take it from here. So if you guys don't follow us on Facebook, please go ahead and do that. I do add a lot of updates on our Facebook page about things that are happening around the island. And one of those things is that tomorrow the North Shore opens, Monday, June 17th. You do have to have a reservation though, so don't just drive up there and think that you're going to go ahead and park and visit the park. So what you want to do is go to GoHyena.com. That is G-O. H-A-E-N-A.com. That's where you get your reservation, where you get your parking permit, and also it has a shuttle schedule. So check that out before you head up to the North Shore. And again, on Hawaii Time members and anyone else who is not part of a, uh, one of our subscribers, do not try to get to the North Shore without your permit. You're just going to get turned around or you're going to get a hefty fine. Yep. The two. Yes, there is absolutely no parking on the side of the street, so do not think that you can go up there and just park on the side of the road. If the Waikoua Loop Trail is something you think you can handle, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, and it's time for you to show us some aloha and hit that subscribe button, and also don't forget to hit the bell so that you get notifications of our videos posted each week. And with that said, we leave you with aloha. Always remember to relax and unwind. You're, You're on, on Hawaii, Hawaii time. time. Remember to relax and unwind. You're on